River Rats, Ty and myself paddle up this poopy little creek in the middle of a giant city to the wonderful sound of lawnmowers. There's giant fish in this, this thing. It's, it's kind of crazy. I feel like I'm fishing Jurassic Park. And hopefully we run into them. So let's go. The bobber? Yeah, it does. Is that a gar? What? Probably. Well, that didn't take very long. Look at that one go. That one. <laughs> this is ridiculous already. Okay. Oh, you. There I am. Yeah. You might have dropped it. Nope. Yeah. That one's just under. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get him. Go ahead, dude. I got a, a fishing rod with a fish on it right here. I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the green light. All right, I'm going to try, all right? Yeah, get him. I'm kind of excited for this. Got him? Yeah. Uh, my float just went back down. Is that where he's eating it, you think? I don't think it's anything huge. I mean, huge is a matter of perspective, too. It's growing. It's growing. <laughs> what are you thinking? Gar. Gar. Little guy? He's not that little. Oh, well, that's a big gar right there. No, oh, that might be the fish we have on. Oh, oh it's, it is a cat. Well, that took all of what, two minutes? <laughs> is that an 18 pounder? It's in the neighborhood. Nice fish, man. Here, I got your rod. how pretty he is though he's kind of contrary to the blue cats you were talking about <laughs> it's like when they get real big they get real nice. yeah you want grippers actually i have grippers yeah i need something here i brought them might as well use them actually, I want you to okay lift his head up a smidge yeah, there's some weight to him. Dandy, bud. Not bad. No, I mean, we're five... First fi fish of the day. We're five minutes, five minutes in. Yeah. That's ridiculous, man. Awesome. Thank you, Spencer. Yep. And we got an early start because we're supposed to get dumped on. Oh, there's that bobber goes. Yep. It's hauling. You think I should stick him now? All right, Spencer, we got another one running. We're gonna release that guy. Oh, first first blood this morning too. Right there. Well, the bobber's down, so you know he's still got it. Right. You know? In my opinion, it's a good sized gar. It could be the giant that came up because the rod, the float was pointed that way mm -hmm. in order for him to get the bait down he has to release air sometimes oh okay so when he came up that's oftentimes what they're doing then they're going deep to eat this and garb. he's never going to leave this hole no he's stuck here so i mean at this at this point gar fishing is just give it a shot mm -hmm. you know get that drag to whatever you're comfortable at keep in mind i am using a smaller hook so it'll bend so don't fight it like your jab. There's nothing for Oh, you that's plenty of tight. Plenty tight. You just give me the green light when you think you're, it's good to go. In my opinion, I just try now. If not, we can catch that big fish later on. They're okay. obviously going to eat. Mm -hmm. Dude, is that a... That's in a snag. 
Like if that was a fish, all fish, I mean, he still might be there, but it's definitely wrapped around some, feels like concrete. Yeah. Run out there, dude. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Um, hold this, I'm gonna put a life jacket on. All right, I'll chase him down, see what happens. I still haven't casted a fishing pole yet. <laughs> Yeah. It would be a lot cooler if that's the way it was. I suppose this is the downfall of having to let them run. Dude, it's a river. There's always snags. I think he's still on it. I think I did for a second. I'm not positive. Stuff is breaking. What, what pound line is this? 130. 130. <clears throat> you got your float out of it. Oh, there's a gar. Yeah, it's rock solid now. Got it. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at that post gone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's hauling the mail, man. Go ahead, go ahead. I think the drag is set pretty good. Okay. I got him for the moment. Come off? No. Like a cat. No. Can't remember the last time I fought a cat on a spinner nut. Oh yeah. But definitely a cat. I'd be an eater if we weren't fishing this gross, nasty creek in the middle of a giant town. Get him. Well, it's fast action this morning. Relatively speaking. Yeah. Nice, feisty little blue cat. I ain't worried until it's folded. See ya. All right, buddy. Yeah, it's like 10 or 12 right there. The makeshift rod holders, I think they'll work though. Man, there's a lot of lawn care going on this morning. Everybody's trying to get it done before it starts pouring. Flurry of action right off the bat, then she chills out. We do have another spot we're probably gonna try before the day's over. Before we probably get rained out. Oh, the bobber's rolling. It's hauling. Oh yeah. And he dropped it. Oh yeah. The leaf blower got him excited, maybe. Little. Little guy. I'm just impressed by how much stuff is here. Fish wise? Yeah, another little kitty. Gives me hope though. Hope, we're catching fish. What else could you hope for? I guess a big fish would be cool. We have dueling leaf blowers going right now. 
Yeah, that bobber's definitely going. Say, this one's more gar-like. He's right on that bank. You think so? Set him. Yeah, not terrible. Better than the last one, I think. <laughs> no. Wait till it it looks like it's gonna rip it out of the kayak. Uh little blue. It's my boy blue. I don't think so, Ty. Really? A five pound blue, a 10 pound blue will destroy that thing. I'm impressed that this little guy got it down the hatch. So many catfish in here. Another little guy. He's dark. He's got a leech. He's got a leech. Oh yeah, a little guy. A little leech on his tail. Yep. See ya. Yeah, there's so much life in here, man. And this is like in the in the summer? Oh I'm sure it's crazier. It's yeah. Just stuff everywhere. Ty just saw like a six and a half foot gar swimming around right next to the sand. Snag. Oh. Saw a big fish come up when you came tight on it. Yeah. You got a gar on that one. <laughs> Is it? I got a what? Circle hook anyway. So just put it in gear. Look at it go. Right. Look at how smooth it is. There we go. Got it? Whatever it is. Big? Eh, bigger than anything I've hooked yet. Kitty. Right. Man. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't bad at all. Wanna take this for a sec? What's the leader? Come on, 100 pounds. 100 pounds. Look at, look at that thing. I didn't know he was that big. Dude, look at this. Yeah, he ain't bad. Look at his gut though. I wanna get grippers. <laughs> you wanna go grab them actually? Sure. Look at his gut. Oh yeah, he's a blue cat. We can get a freaking 45 inch. That'd be 60 pounds. Did you hook her deep? No. I just hate holding blues without grippers anymore because I'm getting soft. And actually, I, mainly because I just like my skin on my hands. <laughs> Their teeth are so sharp. It seems like they're sharper at certain places too. Yeah, I've heard people say that. I haven't noticed it. They just seem bad everywhere. He's hooked in that weird, bone, like, meaty cartilage stuff up top. I think I'm going to get pliers, even. Well, upgrade on my end. That's two nice blues this morning and a pile of little ones mixed in. and We got the cosmetic crew pretty them up for me. I, I have a degree in cosmetics. Do you? Yeah. Cosmetics and business marketing. College of hair design. Quite the combo. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let him go. See a little bud? Maybe. He 
You got my feet wet. Dang it. I had a good run. They seem to prefer the free line baits. I think if we find a giant, that's not going to matter. A giant blue? Yeah. Sometimes, I don't know. I've heard that free line and baits is a good tactic. Take whatever. Oh yeah. Can we get this out of here? Um yeah, probably wouldn't hurt a thing. I mean he's you only have so much control over a fish with spinning gear. <laughs> Uh, he's acting like a blue cat and running at us. Yeah, good thing you moved that rod. But he's nice. Just stay on. If he's a blue, he's really nice. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Big blue. Big blue. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Here, grip No, I'm so stoked. That's what we were hoping for. Watch that other hook too. I see it. I couldn't have left it right there. Got there it. we go. Nice! Yeah, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a truck, man. Well, that's what we were talking about. To me, it's a truck. Dude, it's a nice one. <laughs> Look at that hook, man. Right in the corner. To catch that thing out of this dumpy little creek, because especially blues, oh yeah. I think of them as like big water fish, and this is a long ways from big water. Is this a scale? No, I wish it was. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. I think there is something to those free line baits. Mine, you're just sitting there not getting touched. And then Say that again, please. Something to the free line baits. But uh, I don't know. Pretty stoked on that one. We were just running our mouths talking and dreaming about catching a fish like this last night. And now I'm holding it. Because I was showing Spencer videos of what's in here and pulling up fish like this. And the goal was to come out here and do this. Yes. And we're doing it, Ty. Like <laughs> but. I think I'm gonna let him go. Yeah, he's tubby. Little creek, massive blue catfish. What a feast, man. Sorry, I'll let you release your fish. Now. No, let him go, dude. Okay. Ah, oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, that's a nice one. He took off a hundred mile an hour like blue cats do. That was sweet. This place is dinosaur land, man. Big cats, big gar. It's kind of ridiculous. Hey, look at these houses, bro. Yeah, there's just houses right here. Yeah, they're nice enough houses where they have land yard management crews. Well, I have a yard management. Well, we're not all high rollers like you, Ty. My theory on the rain is if I wear my bibs before it rains, it keeps the rain from coming in. Well, I'm wearing my bibs? Yeah. We were talking about that earlier. Where were you? We got another gar going. He's there for the moment. Little Gar. Spotted Gar. Giant spotted Gar. Mm. Looks like a short nose to me. We don't have them down here. Ooh, 
I would take some money that that's a short nose. Really? Yep. Uh, I got pliers. I got it. Bye. What are you doing? Are you a catfish? Gar? Cat? No. no? Pull it down. Keep going. Swimming off to the side with it. He needs to pull it straight down. Turn around. Give it everything you got, little bud. Oh. And he dropped it. Well, maybe. Or it was hung on the bottom. And it popped off. Does that sound him? I think he's still running with it. Yeah, he's still there. Pull it down. Kick it out of the boulder. That's pretty yeah. solid. I don't know how good the hook job is. I don't know what this is. It's acting like a blue, but it didn't pull it down like it. Oh, he's gone. Let's see if you, do you have any fray? Yep. Bummer. Whatever it was, it was large. Was it? Yeah, there was a lot of weight, but it, it was coming at me. Could have been a gar, you think? I'm judging by what just happened, I absolutely do. We still got rods bouncing, things happening, and stuff going on, but I think I'm going to wrap this video up. We're going to go try a different spot here before too long, and hopefully there's monstrous fish there too. It's fun fishing with Ty. His channel's Ty Pig Patrol. He catches giant fish all the time, so. Thank you. That's, that's the only reason I'm fishing with you. I know. <laughs> nah, he's a good dude. Check out his videos, but. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. But either way, thanks for taking time to watch. Hope you catch a giant. This was definitely not my good side. I think this is my better side. Yeah.